Welcome back to a new video idea, well, a new series. So you may have seen on a previous video, I did like a leaderboard system, which is publicly available for anyone to look at. I'm going to do something similar, but with free trade. Now, in the UK, if you're looking at free brokers that are easy to sign up, Trading 2 and 2 and free trade are probably the most popular two brokers you're going to find out there, where it's commission free trading, relatively speaking relatively speaking compared to your brokers like hl aj bill or your traditional bank where you can open a stocks and shares iso or something so yeah free trade trading two and two today we're going to be looking at free trade um what's popping and what's not popping in terms of being traded so you can see how much is being bought percentage wise compared to the previous week and how much is being sold compared to the previous week and there's a ratio of buy to sell. Um, and you think over one basically means there's more buys than sells. Anyway, so I'm going to start with number one. You've got Wise, which is a 11.68 buy to sell ratio. It doesn't show percentage wise, but 11.68, that is crazy to think. That That is a high amount of buy volume for that stock. Then you've got AMC in second, which has 1.21 buy to a sell ratio you can see the change for buy orders and the change for sell orders has gone down which just means less people are buying and less people a lot less people are selling but the buys are still higher than the sales so 1.21 virgin galactic aka space 1.81 loser s p 500 etf 2.99 which means a lot of people are buying and look even if you look at the changes percentage to sales 17.76%. Less people selling significantly. A significant amount less people selling and less people buying, but still the buys are way higher. For almost for every sell order, you have free buy orders. Um Tesla Motors 0 0.9, so you can see more people are selling it. GameStop 1.89. You can see more people buying it. But look at the buys and sells. It's almost one for one percentage rise in terms of from last week 31.35 percent of people are not buying compared to before but 32 percent are not selling but still the buy to sell ratio is still higher apple's almost one for one is 0 0.99 so it's just slightly let's say 100 sales 99 of them sales are buys you can see there's a lot more people now so a lot more people now that are buying into it than before and a lot more people selling but the buys is percentage increase is more than the sales so maybe in the week afterwards this may become a positive number you got vanguard FTSE all world which is like an etf that basically you invest in in the world um 2.78 you have the S and P five hundred in U S and cumulative four point oh one. That's quite high. You got Newegg Commerce. Never heard of that. One point one. Neo one point oh three. Amazon was zero point nine five. So you got more people selling Amazon than buying it. Investco Nasdaq. So basically, we're talking the QQQ. Well, this is the EQQQ. Um, ETF three point three three. That's quite high. Context Logic 1.37, Boohoo 1.63, Google Class A 4.25, that's quite high, Cineworld 2.81, iCore FTSE 100, Distribute 3.12, Alibaba 2.76, Palantir 1.48, Clover 1.9, Carnival, surprisingly, consider the pandemic situation we're still in, there's more buys and sells, 3.03. Why is 1.19? A bit confused why it's twice on the list. BP 4.41, that's quite high. Churchill 1.46. You've got FTSE All World um, UTF by USD 3.01. Palantir, more sales and buys, you've got 0 0.96. Facebook 1.74. Argo Blockchain 1.27. Just Eat Takeaway, that's interesting, 1.1. Alibaba, 2.33, Byron Tech, 1.16, Lloyd's, 
Cassava science, never heard of it. More sales than buys, 0 0.98. Arrival group, 1.65. One thing that's a bit irritating is that you can't actually see the actual volume or numbers. Like, you're seeing percentages and you're seeing ratios. You're not actually working with numbers, but percentages are still useful. Vanguard, FTSE 100, ETF distribute, 1.26. Airbnb, 2.56. S&P 500 by iShares, free, exactly. Shopify, 1.91. Queenbase, 1.49. Interesting, still more buys than sells. Unilever, 2.78. Astro, 2.17. ITM, 1.16. You can see a lot of, there's a lot more buys than sells in terms of ratio-wise, but if you look at the percentages on the right-hand side, you can see a lot of um, stocks the volume's going down. Churchill Capital, 0.84, so more sales than buys. A little bit self-explanatory. Uh, EQQ, NASDAQ, GBP Hedge, 4.92, that is quite high. AMD, 0.89, more people selling than buying. ATA Energy, 1.04. Barclays, 1.91. Ishares UK, dividends, usets, ETF, 2.05, and legal in general, 1.75. So that's the end of this list. Now, there's two sections. We have top buys and top sells. Top buys, people buying. Top sells, people selling. A snapshot of the most bought and sold stocks and shares on the free trade app last week, ranked by the total value of buys slash sells. So top buys, we have Wise, AMC, Virgin Galactic, Vusa, uh, which is Vanguard S&P 500, Tesla Motors, GameStop, Apple, Vanguard, FTSE, or World, and Vanguard S&P 500, but um, USD Accumulative, and Newegg Commerce, and that's top 10. Now top sales, you have AMC, I'm a bit confused how it's top buys and top sales. So top sales, AMC, Tesla, Space, we've got three type, wouldn't really call it meme stocks, but meme stocks. Apple, fourth place, Neo, Newegg, Amazon, Wish, GameStop, and Wise. I mean, some of those were included in those lists above. I think most of them actually was, so you'd be able to work out percentage-wise of the buys and ratio-wise. And then we've got UK most traded um, shares. Most traded shares on the London Stock Exchange that our clients bought and sold on a free trade app during the last week, ranked by the total value of buy orders. Um, so you've got top 10, you've got Wise, and it tells you the buy, the buy to sell ratio. Wise, 11.68. Boohoo 1.63, which is a change of minus 7.47%, so less than the previous week. Um, Cine World 2.81%, an increase of 60%. That might be worth looking into. Let's see if volume for Cine World has recently started to go up. I mean, an increase of 60%. And this is only free trade, by the way, doesn't include other brokers. Let's look at the week. Yeah, weekly wise, it's going from what, 60 pence to as high as, what's that? 69 pence, 94. And that's a decent return, 15% in what? One day, one day, 30 minutes. I mean, volume, does it say? Average volume is 10.2 million. Let's see. Let's check out the volume. What was the volume for like the last five days? Is that it's not? Mm. Well, the volume today, well, yesterday, was 5.3, uh, which is half that average volume, which kind of tells me volume's gone down. 
Yeah, interesting. Uh, BP 3.04. Uh, Ceres Power Holdings 1.28. Lloyd's 1.26. Glencore 0.8. Sorry, 0.78. So a lot of people selling out of that. Dark Trace 2.02. Morrison Supermarket, 1.84, and Logistics Development, 56 point... Oh, no, we're looking into that. That's crazy. That is crazy. That sounds like pump and dump territory. 577%. That sounds like pump and dump territory, literally. That, that doesn't... That's an unhealthy amount of growth in terms of users in a day. Okay, those type of lines are confusing me. It almost looks like... It looks like it's big movement, but it's not. It's really not. Like, it's really... It looks like there's probably no volume. Literally, it looks like it's dry. Zero percent. You're just seeing like... Let's see from the low to the high. 3.6%, that's nothing even crazy. I mean, you get, oh, oh. I, I, I don't know, that could be a stock split. That could be a stock split. That will make more sense than a 99% dump. It could be a stock split. But that's a lot of people to recently jump on to buying. 56. 56 buy orders for every sell order. Think of that. that. That's a lot. That is a lot of buying volume. And to see the price doesn't really do much. Let's look at volume. Hold on. Uh, hmm. Shares traded 3.09 million. Um, what did it say about the flow? Average volume is 4.13 million, which is less than what was traded. Today was less than the average. And the free float is 500. Not even 1% of the float got traded. Not even 1%. But that's a high increase in terms of percentage change from last week. So you can see a lot more people are jumping into it via free trade, but not necessarily the broader market in terms of other exchanges and brokers. Interesting. Last thing on our list is most traded ETFs. Now ETFs, these are baskets of stocks. Think of it like you go to a supermarket, you pick up your eggs, you pick up your milk, you pick up your chicken, that's your basket. There's diversification. Views are you got Vanguard S and P five hundred. Uh, that's quite a popular S and P five hundred uh, ETF. You got VU and VUSA. Most people go for VUSA two point nine nine. Your Vanguard FTSE All World, another popular one, two point seven eight. You got Vanguard S and P five hundred for the US dollar accumulative four point zero one. Investco Nasdaq one hundred distribute. 3.33, iShares Core FTSE 100, first uh, British index, 3.12, Vanguard FTSE All World USIFS ETS USD, 5.75, iShares S&P 500 Information Tech Sector in USD Accumulative, 1.3, all of these ETS are positive by the way, in terms of buy to sell ratios. I shares S and P five hundred Yusufs three point four five. I shares Global Clean Energy one point three six and Investco EQQQ Nasdaq one hundred ETF in British Holding sorry British Hedge four point nine two. Now all of them, like I said, are positive, and in terms of positive uh, growth percent wise, highest two would be I shares S and P five hundred information tech sector and the qqq in gbp hedge which is 129 percent. so maybe a lot of people are buying into tech recently now like i said this is only free trade it doesn't cover every broker exchange etc 
it's just free trade but people from free trade are looking more into tech stocks or tech etfs because they're buying into etfs so maybe they're looking into tech stocks too and a safer way to buy into it is free etfs now this list i think it really changes on like a weekly basis except for this bit so if i was going to do another video of free trade looking at their um charts of buy to sell ratios to see like are people buying a stock or are they selling a stock i'd probably only look at this once a week because there's not really filters to like filter through it i hope you did enjoy this video if you did leave it a like if you didn't leave it a dislike put in the comments why you didn't like it and if you're new to the channel please do subscribe i'm trying to get to 200 subscribers by the end of august i think we're at 152 at the time of recording so it'll be nice to hit 200 and yeah I hope you have a nice day.